Okay, so I got the pattern right over here. Got the bumper sprayed down a slip solution, so I'm just gonna take my squeegee, create a dry spot right there. I'm gonna take the film. Peel it back. Right. Stuck down over there. Okay, so I got the bumper back rolled on. Now all I'm gonna do is just pull the film back and start soaking the adhesive side of the film with my slip solution. What this is gonna do is it's gonna help me glide the film into place where it needs to go. Now with these dodges, they are not, I mentioned it in the beginning, they're not an easy bumper to install. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to start right over here with the license plate bracket holes. So I'm just going to get my, that's my slip solution. Just going to get my cap solution right here. Line that hole up. Maybe I should make sure that the top and bottom are lined up. Just like that. There we go. That's good. Now I'm gonna stretch the place over here. There we go. Okay, now that's all down. Okay, good. Now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna start working our way over the driver's side. So we've got this valley over here, which can be super, super difficult to get down. I know the first time I ever did one of these bumpers was so all I did right there is I got some tap solution behind the film. Just gonna stretch the film into place right where it needs to be. Just with my thumb, I'm gonna hold that down. Actually, you know what? No, that's not the right way to do this. It's been a little bit since I've done one of these, so bear with me. I'm gonna get this all lined up here first. So, just gonna get this all stretched into place. like so. finish this off over here before I go on anywhere else. More slip solution behind the film. Now, stretching this into place is not going to be too terribly hard. Very little stretch required at all. So that's good. Now I'm just going to get my tack solution behind there. And I'm just going to hold that in place. Just with my thumb. <laughs> I 
There we go. Now, I'm going to take and get some tack solution around here. So I can start working this top section down. Good. Now I want to take and get the film stretched into place around this bottom, this bottom fake vent. So get some more slip solution in there. Just gonna stretch that into place. There we go. There, put that down. Get the bottom, get the bottom locked into place. And get this over here down. Start moving over even more. Okay, now I'm going to take and stretch the film into place right over here. down and we're gonna worry about over here so right now I'm just getting this first portion of the uh, of the fog lamp down now now that I got this section of the fog lamp down I'm gonna worry about getting this valley down so I'm just gonna pull the film back some tack solution in there. Just run my finger through there. Get that film to lay down. Hold that there. Now I can come along to squeegee. And I've got a lot of pressure on the squeegee just to make sure that there's no moisture stain behind there. There's not. That's good. Now there we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna get this top section right over here down. Let me get that stretched into place. Right over there. Okay, now we can continue to work outwards. you can see the amount of stretch that I have to do just to get this film into place. Just gonna stretch it a little bit further and hold it because I know it's gonna want to retract. So, there we go. Now I'm just gonna get some tack solution in there. This section down. That's good. Now, I 
line properly and it is. Okay, that's good. That's done. That's down. Now all you have to do is just worry about this last bit. So I'm gonna take stretch that already goes right into place. So Okay, now I'm just gonna flush this out, this wrappable edge. Just gonna make sure it's down and it's going back. And I'm gonna worry about that later. Right now I'm gonna start worrying about other parts of the bumper. So I'm working this body line right here. Just wanna make sure there's no moisture left behind. go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and get some, get some tack solution in there. Now that I have this big finger, this finger if I, if I push it down it's just going to create more fingers. Now what I have to do is I have to take the squeegee and I have to saw them down at an angle. See how that's creating a bunch of tiny fingers? Now I can come across and just squash those with the squeegee and those are never going to pop up. I'm just making sure, feeling along there, making sure there's no moisture left behind. Same with this valley. There's nothing left behind there. There we go. Okay. Now we can start moving on to the other side. So, I'm pull the film back, and our slip solution behind there. side we're gonna get this area the passenger side down first right around this knockoff vent Stretch 
push that twice. Just like so. Now we gotta get some tack solution in right here. Lots of stretch required with these bumpers. Okay, there we go. That's down. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is pull this all back. Get this hit with some silk solution. So you can see if you zoom in over here, you can see how the films all got a bunch of fingers. It's all built up there. I'm gonna lift that up. Get some tack solution right along that ledge. Too much tension. It's a lot of soap solution. That's why that's not working. Top part down. Sticking swaps. So right now I'm just gonna take, run my thumb along, push all that film down into place.
Okay, now that's all down. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna get this middle section down. So this has got a bunch of slip solution behind it. Already. It's not sticking in place, which is good. I don't want it to. I'm not gonna use any tack solution here. Uh, actually, you know, I'm going to use just a little bit right on the corner and on this corner. So I want to make sure there's no moisture left along this body line or along this ridge. These ridges are traps for moisture. So, well, my other tack solution bottles, this one's not empty yet. So I'm just pulling the film back here a little bit, getting some tack solution behind there. That way I can take them that all locked into place. There we go. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is pull a film back here, put a bunch of slip solution behind it. Go. Now I'm going to pre-stretch over here right around the fog lamp like I did on the other side. Just going to let that retract. Hit that with some tack solution. Stretch that into place. Tack solution is going to hold it there. Same thing over here. We got ourselves some, looks like some dust or some dirt or debris that has been flushed out from the bottom of the fog lamp, which is not uncommon around here. So I'm just gonna pop those out. There we go. Solution right there. That's good. Get this down. Got another speck right there, so I can just pull the film back. I thought I could just pull the thing back. Did I get it out? I think so. I don't see it. You don't see it? Oh no. There oh, okay. Go. I could see it before, but then I couldn't. <laughs> okay, that's out. There we go. Squeeze that down. Now I can squeeze everything else down around here. Stretch this in place, which actually requires 
next to zero stretch. Get that in place. There you go. Okay, now I'm going to finish off by getting this area down. Ooh, we got a big bunch of moisture right there. I don't know if you can see that with the camera. This is why you want to work those you want to work those ridges. You want to make sure that there's no moisture left behind on them. We'll hit these few fingers. A little bit of tack solution. And there it's gone. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. Everything is down. Um, I don't do a whole lot of Dodges. Dodges are not a popular truck in our area, I guess. That's why I don't protect a ton of them. But uh, I know I've seen it in the comments section before where people have asked to see more, uh, more Dodges on the channel. So here we go. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like it, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more.